Hey guys, what's up? I Zach the Tron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next Q&A video, and this one, finally getting it done. Uh, it's been a while. I've been trying to do it for the last, like, four days, but um, had the issue with the replays being wiped clean uh, due to the little mini update we got, and I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. It really wasn't much, but it's worth mentioning and kind of giving my thoughts on, because it will affect a few things, in my opinion. Uh, so we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, but anyway, this video is about answering your guys' questions, and I think that, um, you know, here moving forward, at least in the foreseeable future, i uh, going to be able to kind of be a little more regular on the uploads now that, you know, I've gotten situated with kind of a new schedule, and uh, moving forward, I think uh, should be all good on this channel and the second channel, uh, which I should finally get another video up on, like, tomorrow, probably, because it's been a super long time since I've uh, done anything on that channel and I want to keep that moving so for those of you guys that are subscribed to that channel uh, that should also see a little bit of life in it uh, tomorrow hopefully and then in the once a week moving forward but anyway uh, let's get to your guys' questions and see how well I can answer them uh, once again as I say in every video I, I try to answer all the questions I could this isn't going to be that long of a video but um, if your question wasn't answered don't be discouraged I don't take questions in this video. Don't don't put them in the comments of this video. Uh, usually I do the, these about once a month. So just wait till I say I'm going to do a Q&A and then you can start commenting on the few videos leading up. That way I get the most relevant comments uh, and they're not too outdated uh, because it's been a, a month since they were asked or something. So anyway, uh, you might hear a little bit of clicking as I go through the comments, but I uh, just try to ignore that. Hopefully it'll get it wiped out by the background noise can uh, canceller that I use. So starting with the first one, we have Energy Mush. Q&A, once you have maxed your Town Hall 10 defense, uh, will you do all walls to 11 or go to Town Hall 11 with not all done? I think uh, it's actually level 12 walls that, or maybe, no, no, he's right. It is level 11 that's max uh, for Town Hall 10. Yeah. Um, so as far as my walls go, I. The short answer is I probably will not max them out. I'll probably just go to Town Hall 11 with all uh, of the level 10 lava walls. Um, as far as you is, is like my history is concerned, uh, I'm kind of a, a fan of just progressing in the game usually. When in doubt, just keep going uh, with the upgrades and stuff. So you guys might remember that I went to Town Hall 10 actually about, uh, I think, a few weeks before the whole uh, Valk update. I think so. Yeah, I, actually, I'm having trouble remembering now. But that wasn't a huge factor, even if it was uh, after. I was really going to Town Hall 10 anyway, and uh, the the new option of using Valks at Town Hall 10 uh, wasn't a huge factor, even though it made it a lot more balanced as far as three stars go. So um, I'm when in doubt, I just upgrade the Town Hall level. So unless there's something that's going to keep me at Town Hall 10, in which case I'll have nothing to do but upgrade walls once I'm maxed out, Unless there's some reason, uh, because Town Hall 11 is not fun to play at or something, or maybe I don't have the time to do the initial upgrades or something. Unless that's the case, I'll probably just go straight to Town Hall 11 once my defenses are maxed out. Uh, my offense should max out a little before my defense, because there's quite a few defensive upgrades I have to get through. So uh, I'm hoping the offense will max out in the next few months, and then uh, a little longer down the path, I'll max out my defense for Town Hall 10, but who knows where the game will be at that point. Uh, but I guess where I am right now, I would say no. I don't think it's worth it to spend all that time on walls because it takes so long. It's like $5 million for each wall, and it would take forever to upgrade them all. Plus, they're not even that effective because you have miners and air troops and you know all different kinds of stuff that avoid walls. And uh, most of the time, they're getting wall breakered through or... They get, go through pretty quickly, like with bowlers under a rage. So just not worth it, in my opinion. But um, some people might, I just wouldn't, uh, at least in the foreseeable future for me. Um, moving along, Blue Yarn, Q&A, what do you think of the Clash dev team? So as far as kind of the Supercell uh, development team, what they've done uh, on Clash the last, you know, year even, I'm, I've been a big fan of kind of how they've, played stuff out. But they've gotten a lot of criticism, to be honest. I've criticized them before. Um, but in general, and you know, even dating back to when I started playing this game, I think that the fact that we're just still talking about it, we're still playing it, 
and a lot of people are playing, you know, at a very competitive level shows how, you know, much commitment they've put and much time they've put into this game because they're keeping it relevant, uh, you know, four years later, I think, something like that, three years that I've been playing it pretty much. So uh, that's an achievement right there. And I think right now it's kind of the best time it's ever been in the game. Um, I'm having a lot of fun at Town Hall 10. There's just so much going on with miners, bowlers, Valks. You're starting to see air stuff come back. Town Hall 10 is really becoming a, a fun place to be. Town Hall 11 could use a little bit of work, but I'm not too worried about that. I think just a few tweaks, it'll be good. And uh, Town Hall 9, still a, you know, a tough uh, a three-star, surprisingly. I'm not sure what it is, but maybe it's just the base building. But right now, uh, no Town Hall 9 three-star is a given either. So it's at a good place, and I'm not, I'm not going to you know blame the Clash dev team for anything, really. I think they've done a great job. They took care of modding, which was a huge thing. And uh, moving forward, I think we should have some uh, fun stuff in store for us, which I think kind of is the next question if I previewed these questions right. Uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, Qui Productions, Q&A, what changes do you want to see in the game? So yeah, um, like I said, I think the game's at a really good point right now, but um, a few things I would like to see, and the first couple are kind of outside of war, is single player maps. I'd like to see maybe a weekly map to beat, uh, depending on your town hall level, that actually has defenses that are, you know, come from after 2012, because it's just ridiculous what they have there right now. Um, so maybe like a weekly single single player map that you get a big loot bonus for beating that's actually a tough one to beat, um, and possibly just some extra single player options like that. Uh, probably, I'd say, uh, some kind of custom design for your heroes or some kind of like way to customize your troops or probably your heroes more importantly because uh, those are you know you're putting a lot of time into upgrading them I think you know letting people customize stuff always makes the game more interactive you can kind of make your own uh, design whenever you get to customize and make your own thing I think it really draws people into the game so you know not a huge thing a lot of people wouldn't mention that but I think that there's there's a good aspect to being able to customize your clan your own profile your troops some of the visual stuff, which would be nice to see. Um, but those are just kind of two non-war things. I think war is a good, pretty good place right now. I'm not thinking it's needing a whole lot in clan war specifically. Probably just like a small balance for Town Hall 11, something to counter the Grand Warden's ability. Like maybe it doesn't protect against giant bombs, or maybe add a defense at like Town Hall 11 that can help a little bit with miners or bowlers. Because, I mean, there's kind of been an argument back and forth whether the uh, miners and bowlers are kind of too uh, overpowered on kind of spam attacks, call it. Some people don't like the word spam attack. They don't think it represents what's going on, but for you know, lack of a better term, a spam attack. And uh, I think that there could be a small change to kind of help balance that, that to counter the warden in some way, because really it's the grand warden. Um, after thinking about this a lot and listening to other people, I think that's the main thing that kind of makes some attacks overpowered at Town Hall 11. So just maybe a small change up there, but because war is a good place <clears throat> and with, you know, basically the lack of modding, we're seeing a little bit of it with like burner accounts or whatever. But for the most part, I think um, a tournament would be some kind of cool idea, something in game. I mean, obviously all the live events they do, like the meetups and stuff are cool, but that's just unrealistic for the, the vast, vast majority of players. So some kind of clan tournament system or even an individual tournament system, something to kind of add to the competitiveness of the game outside of war. Because I think, you know, with arranged wars, uh, it, it's the high-level war community is kind of getting separated from the rest. I think it would be cool to kind of throw everyone back together and let things kind of separate themselves out again. Uh, so that would be cool, some kind of tournament for either clans or individuals that's based off kind of a clan war type setup. So that would be what I would want to see in, in the game. Um, moving along, though, we have, um, okay, I'll just, I don't know if I should say this on YouTube, but um, Q&A, do you remember anybody from your subscriber clan? Uh, actually, yeah, I do remember quite a few people, um, especially when their names are the same as their YouTube names, uh, their clash names, that is, because I can kind of make that connection. So I remember quite a few people. If I do open the subscriber clan again, which is something I've said I, I'd do in the past, but... It's just something I quite haven't found the way to really go about doing it. Um, I'd recognize a lot of people probably as soon as they started joining, but um, 
yeah, it was it was fun while I had the subscriber clan, and I definitely uh, have a lot of people that I still see on the channel that were once in the clan. Uh, a few more. We have Caleb Farrow Q and A. Will you do a face reveal or your gaming setup? Uh, yeah, I think I've said this before. Ten thousand subscribers. Uh, I'm probably gonna do a face reveal and probably just kind of a quick, you know, equipment uh, tour or whatever, you know, whatever it is that goes with the face reveal that most people do. So you guys will probably see a little bit more into kind of the recording aspect of this on the other side of the microphone. Um, all right, a few more. James Jams Shidian, Jams Shidian. I don't know. Uh, Q and A. Are you in contact with Jake? I assume he means Jake from uh, the One Hive Raids channel. And no, I wouldn't say I am. I've tweeted for a while now. I've every once in a while I'll tweet a video at him. This was, you know, earlier before a lot of things happened. I'd, I'd tweet, you know, a video at him back before I was even in One Hive. And one thing I have to give it up for him is back then he especially would check it out and actually tweet back at me. So he did really pay attention to his uh, Twitter subscribers at that point in time. So I really have to give him props for that. It was cool to have kind of a big YouTuber, even at that time with, you know, 50,000 subscribers, uh, being able to interact at that level and even check out a video just by some uh, very small satellite YouTube channel that I was back then. So that was cool. Uh, recently, not really. I've tweeted at him a little bit, especially during the clan breakup. Um, he's kind of, I don't think I've been mentioned on his channel really. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm not looking for some kind of shout out from him or anything. Uh, so he can kind of, you know, go about the, uh, you know, his channel as he wants. I'm not going to tell him what he can do on his channel. So uh, I haven't been in contact. I don't think I've had like kind of a formal conversation with him. Um, I I'd love to, you know, have a collab video or something. I don't think we're like you know, any kind of enemies just because our clans split apart. It really wasn't a personal thing. At least between me and Jake, it wasn't. So, uh, no, I'm not in contact with him, but it would be cool for him to reach out to me. And uh, maybe I'll, you know, start tweeting at him a little bit more or something. So, we'll see how that goes. Uh, last question for today. Q&A, do you enjoy making videos on your second channel? I watch it and love the videos. And do you think more people should check it out? Um, yeah, definitely. I think the answers to this are all obvious. Uh, I love making the videos. It's another fun thing to do on the second channel. I'll try to get some more out, you know, once a week at least, starting tomorrow probably. And uh, it's called Exploring Space, kind of a virtual space exploration channel for you guys who don't know. So you can check that out. Um, I might throw a link in the description of the videos from now on. I might not though, because there's so many links in there already. I don't want to saturate it too much, but uh, not too hard to find. And uh, I have a second channel video explaining it with a trailer a little ways back. Uh, you can find in the upload feed. So yeah, uh, check that out if you haven't already. But anyway, that's it for the questions. Thanks again. And uh, as always, don't leave your questions here. Wait uh, a few weeks until the next Q&A, and I'll let you guys know when to start asking. So thanks again for all the support, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.